For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem that tells you if the two forces F1 and F2 act at A, determine the resultant moment produced by these forces about point O and express the result as a Cartesian vector. Since both of the forces start at the same point, this problem becomes very easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the resultant force FR and then I'm just going to do the moment is equal to the cross product between the position vector A which is this position vector and the Cartesian vector form of FR so F1 is 100i minus 120j plus 75k F2 is equal to negative 200i <coughs> plus 250j plus 100k FR is simply given by the addition negative 100i plus 130j plus 175k now that you have FR all you need to do is find the position vector of OA you know O sits at the origin 0i plus 0j plus 0k A sits at 4i plus 5j plus 3k so OA it's A minus O, O is the origin, so this is equal to A, which means that this is 4i plus 5j plus 3k. So now you have your two vectors for your cross product, and we're going to do the cross product. The moment is O is equal to, you draw your matrix, i, j, k. The first one is OA, so it's 4, 5, 3. The second one is FR, so it's negative 100, 130, and 175. So the first thing you do is you redraw your first two columns, 4 and 5, negative 100 and 130. And then you do your positive diagonals, positive diagonal, positive diagonal, this is positive, positive, and then right. Positive but slightly to the left on this one. So it's i times 5 times 175 is 875i. j times 3 times negative 100 is negative 300j. k times 4 times 130 is positive 5 20k. Now we're going to do our negative diagonals, negative diagonal, negative diagonal, and negative diagonal. So minus 100 times 5 times k is negative 500k, but it's negative, so it's positive 500k. 130 times 3 times i is. Hold on, am I doing this right? Yeah. 130 times 3 times i is 4390 390i but it's negative so it's 390i remember these are our negative diagonal and 175 times 4 times j is negative 700 it's actually positive 700j but it's negative so it's negative 700 J. <clears throat> so when you add this up, you get that the final answer is 485i minus 1000j plus 1020k. And these are the moments at O that the two forces create. So I calculated the resultant force by adding them together and did the cross product between the position vector where the tails go with respect to the point we're trying to find the moments of 
so you get that position vector and you do the cross product with the resultant force the only reason why this works is because both forces have their tails at the same spot if f1 was for example right here you this wouldn't work okay so final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you